you don't want to be doing the do and find out <laughs> I'm actually I have a friend that that has happened to you she did not secure the wig <laughs> and in the midst of all the fun my guy grabbed on <laughs> and next thing you know <laughs> be safe <laughs> be very safe <laughs> use protection <laughs> <laughs> hey beautiful people, I'm Amy Justin Lee and I'm back today with a hair video. We're going to talk about how to get your hair, your wig specifically, ready for an adult sleepover. If you know what I mean. Okay guys, I'm going to take you through the steps that I do personally to make sure that the hair is looking on point when I'm going to a cute boy that I've been dating for a little while, you know, you know, he... he I don't know what to say because my parents might be watching but you guys know what I mean right so we've been dating for a little while we're not really comfortable yet to just snatch the wig off put it on a nightstand and then go to bed you know with the fro so we gotta keep the wig on we gotta keep the wig laid snatched and you know in place we gotta secure the wig so I'm gonna take you guys through the steps that I do to do that now I've been dating a guy now for about a month and a half and I'm not gonna lie to you one of the things that kind of really gets my heart racing is like when I put my head on his his chest and we're cuddling and like I'm just wondering what is that view that he's seeing when he's looking down at my hair and my wig like what does that look like and I'm just like oh god I hope it looks laid I hope he's not seeing like gummy glue everywhere I hope it looks natural AF so I'm gonna go through what I do to get ready and what I take with me as well to make sure just in case any slip up haps and happen I'm good to go now this video is sponsored by Clay hair they sent me this wig about two and a two 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 weeks ago I would say now so I've had it for two weeks it's body wave it's 24 inches it probably needs a little bit more of a zhuzh at the moment the curls have gone a little bit you know loose and haywire so i'll take you guys through some of the steps that i do to get everything looking banging and fresh just to say to you guys if your wig is tired it is shedding it is matted you've had it for months and months and months it is past its sell by date none of this will help you sis you need to get you a new wig you need to go in my description box click the link use my discount code and copy something new that can represent when you go on your adult day so yes most important thing you can do is have a good wig all the info for this one will be in my description box and I quite like body wave hair when it comes to adult sleepovers because you don't have to do too much you don't have to start straightening in the morning you're good to go you kind of have that like you know I just woke up like this I've got these cute little waves I'm, I'm ready I'm, I'm cute I'm slaying okay guys so the first thing that I do before I get ready for a sleepover wait where is my I always have this little spray bottle. I have two of these. One has just water and one has water and either a hair mask or hair conditioner. I think this one has a mask in it. So, because the curls have started losing a bit of their volume and a bit of their definition, I will just spritz through that. I don't want to get it wet, but I just want to put a little bit of condition and something to get these curls popping again. Yes so just like that and then i'm going to brush it through now the good thing about this is that a conditioner and a mask is going to also help not just smoothen the hair but should also help it smell good and not just redefine the curls but smell good that is an important thing guys if the guy has got his head on your head and your hair smells Mm, it smells a bit burnt smells like it hasn't been washed in a while says nothing is gonna turn him off faster okay so the conditioner will just yes have it smelling pretty good so even though that does smell good it still kind of has that in my opinion that kind of new hair kind of smell you know so a good way to get rid of this is to do like a, a hair mask a leave-in hair mask treatment for more than 24 hours and then either wash it out or a leave-in conditioning treatment and just that's lighter than the mask so it wouldn't wear it down you can just keep that in and wash it out next time you wash your hair but another thing i like to do so that will dry off in about five minutes you can see the curls and the waves are coming back but another thing I like to do for scent is I like to is I like to spray the hair so this is just like a body spray I use the so one and I just give it I cannot be the only person that sprays their hair for me good smelling hair just means I'm a lot less paranoid and when you're cuddling in bed he's like mm, it's not good <laughs> thank you what's your <laughs> thank you <laughs> 
<laughs> there's something wrong with me and that also is a bit of perfume in it i don't use anything too strong so this is the zara tuba rose i just do right about here just on this side and here and also usually the top of my head as well because that's when like if a guy comes to hug you that's where he'll usually go and if he's leaning on you as well and the night is usually leaning just when you put your head on his chest usually there so yeah smells absolutely banging with the conditioner the spray and a little bit of perfume so yes the curls are redefining so that's already looking good now the most important thing i would say apart from having a good wig and a good wig that smells good is securing the wig you don't want to be doing the do and find out <laughs> i actually i have a friend that that has happened to you she did not secure the wig <laughs> and in the midst of all the fun my guy grabbed on <laughs> and next thing you know <laughs> i should laugh i think it's happened to more of us than we'd like to admit it's never happened to me yet do you have to secure the wig so i'm going to give you a few options on how to do that just checking if this is dry look at that look at that this hair bangs, you know, and it's so full. If you guys really want a full, natural looking wig, I'll tell you, you can do a lot worse than this bad boy. Okay, so options for securing the wig. Now this wig comes with three clips, so that's a lot of securing. There's one clip right here, so I'm going to tuck that into my natural hair. There's another clip right here in the centre. I'm going to tuck that in right there and there's a third clip on this side so already before if my guy's getting a bit carried away and you know he's going for the hair that's already going to secure you he's going to really struggle to rip that off so you want a wig that has good levels of security he's got good clips in there and also there's one at the back as well that you can tuck yourself in girl okay now another thing to do is wrap that's an option i personally don't like to wrap just because you know if you're dating a white guy you might have to start explaining why you're going to bed with a scarf i never use a forehead scarf if i'm going to wrap it anyway i would use a really thin one like this and i would just like do a cute little bow that hopefully wouldn't raise too many questions something like this so I do a double bow put it on the side I think I did this the other day actually it wasn't for bed but I think I could see that my wig had been slipping and I didn't want to have to relay it so I just put this on and he was like oh I like your bow and I was like yeah thank you thank you thank you I don't think he realized that it was a safety measure <laughs> so yeah I've got that cute little bow so that's an option for bedtime, you're looking cute, you don't have the whole thing wrapped around. But yeah, you're secure, you've got your clips in, although you haven't laid your wig, you got that. And 9 out of 10 times when you wake up in the morning, the wig will still be on your head. <laughs> so that's a good, cute little one to do. Another thing I would say as well is packing the hair back, especially during the do. Some men do get carried away, especially if the hair is loose. They want to get their hands all in it, they want to pull on it. I'll pack it out the way remove some of that temptation for him and yeah that's cute another thing that I do as well is I often do a pigtail but I'm not going to do it with the bow because that's already quite a lot I don't want to do too much but that's a cute little look you know but this is one that I don't usually do I usually try and secure the wig without having to do any like bows or scars I try and secure it so that you know we don't raise too many questions and when I say secure it, I mean securing it with a bit of spray, a bit of glue, a bit of the works. I'm going to be showing you guys how I do that one as well. So don't forget, so far we've conditioned our hair and just put a bit more definition if you have curls. We've also sprayed with perfume and a body spray. We carried a scarf just in case, even if you're not planning on using it, I would take a scarf just in case anyway, because let's say what I'm about to show you doesn't work quite well for you, because sometimes I can take a few practices. This is always good to have in the bag. Also have a hairbrush as well, just in case. And make sure, as I said before, you want to have a good wig. Don't have a wig that will be molting all over homeboy's house. You know, your brush 
brushing your hair before bed and you go to sleep and in the morning my guy's looking at you like girl are, are you having chemotherapy you got cancer why is my bathroom floor covered in hair like what not don't be doing that one either so watch out for that but I'm going to show you guys how I do it and this is really the only method that I've found that keeps my wig secured during the do during the sleepover in the morning everything is still looking as it should be and I'm not too paranoid as well about laying on his lap and what he's looking down at now the first thing I'll show you guys which you need to know is residue so I've had this wig for two weeks now and you can see some product build up along the hairline and the thing is it can be noticeable it can be quite visible and it will stop your hair laying as naturally as it possibly can so what I like to do is I like to remove this and I just usually take a baby wipe turn the wig over and then right here that's where all residue is I wipe okay guys so I've just cleaned that up as much as I possibly can could do really quickly so I found that a lot of the residue I can get off with a wipe so I also went in with the toothbrush that I used to do my baby hairs and just use that to give that a quick little scrub on the inside of the actual wig and that removes a lot of the excess glue and hairspray that sticks to the wig once you lay it down so yeah that's been neatened up really well I'm quite happy with that there's still some residue but most of it is gone so now it's time to lay the hair now this for me is the best and easiest and most secure way this doesn't come off this can be on for two plus days and it will not come off my hair that I can sleep in it so this is the method I'm gonna take you guys through it real quick I'm just gonna quickly pack this hair back this I'm gonna be using my ultra got to be glue spray I just put in spray <laughs> also got to be glue gel I put like a dollop like this on my on my hand like that then I use a comb like this I just put the wig where I want it to sit draw it forward okay like that and then I apply a very thin layer I put a thin layer just so it dries quickly it doesn't take too long to dry first time I did this it took so long to do now I just make pretty quick work of this it doesn't have to be too neat because you will need to knit up with a baby wipe at the end anyway okay you guys will see just how quickly I get this done this time around yep nice thin layer Okay, so that's half the wig already, half the face already done. Okay. And once you've done this, I would leave it for about five minutes to start drying down. Once it gets quite tacky, we'll go in with the got to be glue spray as well. So five, seven minutes, and that's why you do a thin layer so it doesn't take too long to dry. I'm not putting this in my hairline at all because I want to keep my hair. This is such a strong method that I would be careful as well when you're taking it off because as I said, it can lay on for days on end. So when I am ready to take it off, I do try and use lots and lots of water and oils instead of just snatching it off my head. I'm going to leave that for five to seven minutes until I feel it's almost pretty dry and then we'll come back in with the quite a glue spray. So guys, this is pretty much dry. It's not even tacky, like that is pretty much dry. And that's actually good, that's not a problem. So that took, what, four minutes? It didn't even take five minutes. So now I'm gonna go in with my got to be glued hairspray, the one in the yellow bottle. And I'm just going to spray exactly where I've applied the gel. Spray across that line. I usually use my fingers to just dab it in. And then you will feel like, the spray mixing in with the gel and kind of like loosening the gel that's dried up it doesn't feel so dry anymore you'll feel it mixing in really nicely this will dry super fast because the gel is already on there and has dried so you have to be very quick with this you don't really need to give it any time to settle in you should be good to go like I can already feel that that is drying already okay 
get it yep that's already drying down i've got to be quick cool so pretty much no time to waste place it exactly where you want it to sit there we go and then i hold it in the center usually and i usually do my right side first but you can do whatever side you want first and just put it forward and then drag the lace into the product and push that down so i push the two edges down right at the end and drag that in okay once that's in i take the tail comb use the tail end and just slide a lot of the lace let me move the hair back so you guys can see what i'm doing i'm using the tail comb to just push the lace into the product to help it dry in place okay and very quickly before this side dries i'm going to go and do the exact same thing if you can hold that in place please do <laughs> So that's all done so i've got the scarf that i would use if i was just wearing a scarf and i'm just going to use it to wrap around the hairline and just five minutes like i can already feel that that is stuck down but five minutes to still seal the deal So there you have it guys, your wig is secure, it looks good, it looks natural, that ish ain't moving, it's like cement. Do be careful as I said several times when you're taking it off, do not remove your hairline. But yes, I would feel comf comfortable lying on Bae's head like this, like that ish looks good, it looks natural, it's not coming off, he can tug at it, he can pull at it. We secure up in here, it smells good, but don't forget to take this just for a little bit of extra security because the first few times you try this, it may not go as well as you like. So I mean, we've just do me, we are looking good, we are feeling good. Shout out to Clyde Hair, that's the wig that I'm wearing, they sponsored this video. Make sure you guys check them out, they are linked in my description box. We are looking good, feeling good, eh? Be safe. <laughs> Be very safe. <laughs> Use protection. <laughs>